Hi, good morning. I'm back. So today we will discuss um, general mathematics for quarter one, week one B. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa week one A and this time we will learn about evaluation of functions. Okay, so quarter one, week one B, uh, competency is evaluation of functions. So again, our writer is Sir John Lex Vinagracia with our layout artist, the president of uh, the Mathematics Teachers Division of Iloilo Mathematics Teachers Association, Ma'am Krisha May Haruda, and um, with the support of our Education Programs Provisor in Mathematics uh, of the Schools Division of Iloilo, Dr. Kim Arsenia. Okay, let's begin. So, uh, our lesson for today is evaluation of function. When we speak of evaluation, what do we mean by that? Ano bang ibig sabihin pag sinabing evaluate, mag-evaluate ka ng function? When you evaluate, actually, basically, you get the value of a function at a certain number. ba? Last time, sabi natin, ang function um, is a relation, a binary relation. So, pag may input, so, evaluate mo yung function sa input, ang kalalabasan ay yung output. So, the value of the function when you evaluate using the input. Okay. In notation, f of x, uh, or your y, function of x, that is what it means, it is stressed that f is the name of the function, and f of x is the value of that function f at x. Again, again, f of x is a notation, which means f is the name of the function, and f of x is the value of the function f at your input x. If y is the value of f at x, or y equals f of x, x is called the independent variable since any element of the domain can replace it and y is called the dependent variable because its value depend on the value of the independent variable x. So, independent variable or your input is any element in your domain, meaning the set of x coordinates or your x values. So, most of the time, given ang input. Most of the time, given ang input. So, if your input is the x value, then you replace every x variable on your function f. You are actually evaluating the function at x, at that x value. Okay? Then the result becomes the output. So since your input could be any number, it is at the independent variable. It is an independent variable. Since your value y or your f of x depends on whatever value or input you put, you put in, that's why it's called input, then it becomes, your y value becomes a dependent variable, dependent on the input x. Okay, I hope that's clear, not confusing, okay? To evaluate function, just replace all the values of x in the equation and then simplify. When we speak of simplify, that means you have to operate addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, exponent, square roots, so all the fundamental operations. Meaning to say, wala nang dapat i-add, wala na dapat i-subtract, so the simplest value you could have. Okay? So when you evaluate, you substitute or replace all values of x in the given equation. Okay, example. Our function f is given to be 2x minus 3. 
So this is our function, 2x minus 3. So we will evaluate this function with any value of x given in the domain. Okay, example. Let's say our x, our input is 0. So we read this as f of 0, meaning we want to find the value of this function at x equals 0. Again, f of 0 means we will evaluate this function at x equals 0, which means we will replace x with 0 and then simplify, operate. So here's the solution. So f of 0 equals 2 times 0 minus 3. Di ba kanina x to? Since we want to evaluate it with the value 0, so we replace, replace this x with 0. So f of 0 equals 2 times 0 minus 3. Paano mo malalaman na multiplication to? Kasi 2x. So when two terms, when two uh, expressions are put side by side, that uh, is automatically understood to be multiplication. Okay? So when you put a value na with x, you put parenthesis to indicate that you're doing multiplication. So 2 parenthesis 0 means multiplication minus 3. So 2 times 0 is 0 minus 3 equals negative 3. This means f of 0 equals negative 3. In other words, the value of this function at x equals 0 is negative 3. So you may write f of 0 equals negative 3. Gets? I hope that's clear. So ganun din ang gagawin sa f of 5. So f of 5 equals 7 f of negative 1, f of 0.5, ganun din. So, you can do this on the calculator. Okay? Mm. Ang tanong, paano pag yung gusto mong evaluate, a variable din, letter din? ba? Anong ibig sabihin nun? So, um, these are just arbitrary values. When you say arbitrary values, it could be any. It could be a number. It could be another variable. Okay, so ganun din, ganun din yung process. When you, when you evaluate, you simply replace all the values of x. So lahat ng x meron siya. Hmm, lahat ng x, you replace your x, di ba? Hmm, mat po ang pinag-uusapan. Okay, when you evaluate, you replace all x. So kung meron, kunwari, x squared to, tapos may x pa dito. So, Replace this x and replace this x here also. Okay? Pero paano pag ang gusto mong i-replace sa x is another letter? Ganon din. Ganon din. Ganon din. So, halimbawa, gusto mong palitan si x ng m. Mm. So, ganon din. So, imbis na 0 ang ilagay mo dito, so 2m minus 3. So, f of m. So, 2m minus 3. Since m could be any arbitrary value, so, pwede kang, pwede kahit sino to, di ba? Kahit sino to, pwede. Yung i-replace mo sa x, kahit sino, pwede. So, wala nang kailangan pang i-simplify, yun lang. So, f of m is 2m minus 3. If you want to give value to m, Dahil ni-replace mo siya kay x, if you want to give value for m, then you may do so, replace m with a value. Okay? Okay, relate na relate ba kayo? <laughs> Sige. How about if x minus 1? O, oh, hindi na siya simple m lang or simple x lang. x minus 1. Ganun din. You replace your variable x with this quantity with this expression, x minus 1. So, kanina, x lang siya. So, gusto mong i-replace ng x minus 1. So, to indicate na ni-replace mo na si x with x minus 1, you have to put parentheses. 
Okay? So again, since parenthesis indicates multiplication, and ang minumultiply mo ay two terms, so you have to use distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. So this becomes 2x minus 2. Tanong, saan galing si negative 3? Sa original, may minus 3, di ba? So, ang nireplace mo sa x is x minus 1. So, ito si 2x kanina. Kaso, nireplace mo si x with x minus 1. Pero, may minus 3 pa sa dulo. Yan. Diyan yan galing. Okay? So, ngayon, you have distributed 2 to x and minus 1. So, it becomes 2x minus 2. Lagay mo lang sa dulo si minus 3. And then, simplify. Kasi pwede pang simplify kasi like terms are supposed to be combined. That's how you simplify. So, 2x, 2 times x is 2x, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. So, f of x minus 1 is 2x minus 5. I hope it's clear. Ganun din ang gagawin sa x squared. Sa x squared minus 1. Okay? Mm. Kung may tanong... PM is the key. Private message lang si ma'am. Okay? Let's proceed. Hmm. Okay. Exercise. Exercise natin. Um, pinili ko lang yung kailangan yung sagotan. Hindi to lahat, di ba? Pero may answers sa lahat. So, you could answer, you could uh, do the exercises and then you check your work. Compare it with the answer key. Pag hindi... Uh, swak yung answer mo sa answer key, ibig sabihin, you might have done something wrong. Just repeat, don't worry. Hmm. Walang taong perfect sa unang pagkakataon, di ba? So, uh, um, remember, pag nagkamali sa una, pwede pang ulitin. Pag nagkamali ulit, ulit-ulitin mo lang, uh, tatama din yan. Okay? Hmm. Sige. Ito, so number one. So, ganun din, kagaya ng example number one, number two kanina, ganun din ang gagawin. Replace x with 3. So, 3 minus 3. Hmm, alam mo na. x replace x with minus 5. So, lahat ng x ay dapat palitan. Hmm. Replace x with another number. Okay. Negative 5 squared. So, pag when you plug in negative 5, you have to put parenthesis sa calculator, ha? Dapat sa, kapag, lalo na pag scientific calculator ang ginamit. Pag hindi mo nilagyan ng parenthesis, parenthesis, negative 5, close parenthesis, and then squared, iba yung kalalabasan. Kasi yung binabasa ng scientific calculator kapag walang parenthesis, ay eh yung 5 lang, hindi kasama si minus, si negative 5. Okay? So, have to be very careful. Your, your PEMDAS, PEMDAS, di ba? MDAS, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Pag PEMDAS, parenthesis, exponent. So, dapat may parenthesis, and then exponent, and then operate multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, um, neg parenthesis, negative 5, parenthesis, squared, minus 3, parenthesis, negative 5, close parenthesis, plus 5. Okay? Pag quotient naman, ganun din. So, pag may negative, we have to be careful when, you, when, when you're dealing with negative values. Kagay sa buhay, pag negative yung tao, you have to be dealing with them carefully. So, negative... Uh, squared, dapat magiging positive siya. Okay? So, put parenthesis para maging positive. Then, operate on division. Ito yung tanong. So, number 4. Ito ata yung pasasagutan ko, ba? So, kagaya nung example kanina, yung kanina, yung nandito. Okay, yung nandito. Ayan. Ayan. So, you replace the value the variable x with a plus b. Okay? So, wag bigyan ng value si a at si b. Sadyang a plus b lang talaga si x. Gets ba? So, instead of x, you put a plus b. So, you, you put parenthesis, parenthesis, a plus b, close parenthesis, cube minus 8. Ganon din dito sa baba. 
Okay? So, sa, sa junior high school na math, pag, pag ganito yung expression, may, may denominator siya, you have to factor this out. Diba? Sa factoring nyo, merong factors to. Yung difference of two cubes. Diba? So, recall your factors on difference of two cubes. Pwedeng ma-factor to and then you can divide it with x minus 2. Meron kang maka-cancel dito. Hint yan, ha? Hint. So, meron kang maka-cancel dito. So, yung na-cancel, hindi nakasali, hindi mo na kailang i-replace nito. So, cancel that out and then yung natira, yun lang yung i-replace mo ng a plus b. Kaya ganun yung sagot sa answer key. Okay? Then, ganun din sa number 5. So, you replace x to the fourth with x squared. Ito naman, yung trick dito is, kasi nga, yung x mo, <laughs> yung x mo, replace with x squared. So, yung x squared, erase a 4. Uh, what do you do when your exponent is raised to another exponent? Diba? May rule yan. Uh, recall your loss of exponent. Hmm. So, ganun din dito. Okay? So, I hope alam na ang dapat gawin. Kung hindi pa din, PM is the key. Private message, sim, private message mo lang ako. I would uh, help you. Basta makita ko yung message mo. Basta uh, maghintay ka lang. Be patient. Makikita ko din yung, yung message mo. Alright? Mm. And then, another example. Dito naman, sit, um, real life situation. Velocity, it's a physics. In grade 10 kayo, may physics kayo, di ba? So, the velocity V uh, in meters per second of a ball thrown upward after time, T, in seconds, is given by velocity V of T, meaning a function, a velocity in terms of time, T, is expressed as 20 minus 9.8 T. Okay? What is the velocity of the ball after one second. After two seconds. Since this is a function, kasi, di ba, pag i-imagine mo yung ball thrown upward, pag hinagis mo yung bola, anything that goes up must come down, right? So, if you, if you, if you uh, throw something, if you throw something upward, it will go down. And when a ball is thrown upward and it goes down, the the path it would take is actually a parabola. Okay? Uh, but in this case, uh, it's a straight, it's a straight, uh, I think, it's just dropping a ball, so hindi siya parabola, kaya 9.8 t, kasi pag parabola, dapat squared. So ito, it's just simply um, balling, uh, throwing a ball upward, so straight yung path. So, kung straight ang path, meaning linear function, so, ito ay isang linear function. Okay? Paano ko nalaman na linear function? Kasi, the highest exponent of the variable is 1. So, pag walang exponent dyan, it's understood to be 1. Pag squared yan, ibig sabihin, quadratic function. Ibig sabihin, ang graph a parabola. Uh, yun lang yung trick. Pag cube, ano? Hmm cubic function. May curve na siya. Okay? Sige. Yun yung, yung mga additional na information lang. Ngayon, sagutan natin yung tanong. What is the velocity, meaning V, in time T? So, if time is 1 second, meaning uh, it's asking you to evaluate the function at given time T. So, T is 1. So, 20 minus 9.8 times 1. So, ito lang yun. So, ibig sabihin, the velocity of the ball thrown upward after 1 second is 10.2. Meaning, uh, velocity is, is a speed with direction. Speed with direction. Um, I hope tama yung recall ko. So, speed with direction, meaning uh, the speed of the ball is 10.2 meters per second upward. After one second, the, be, uh, the, the, the velocity or the speed is 10.2 meters per second after one second. Okay? For two seconds, after two seconds, mm -hmm. 
it's 0.4 meters per second. Okay? Bakit bumaba? Af nung tumaas yung time, bumaba yung velocity. Kasi nga, upward, di ba? Sa, sa physics nyo, di ba, may pull of gravity. So, medyo kapag uh, matagal na, uh, di ba, kasi sa pull of gravity, kapag tumagal na, nasa ere na siya, mas mataas na siya, mas mataas yung pull ng gravity. Kaya, humihina yung velocity. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Alright. After 1 second, the ball's velocity is 10.2 meters per second. After 2 seconds, its velocity is 0.4 meters per second. So, meaning 0.4, a little less than 1 half meter. Pero, nung 1 second, 10 meters. Di ba? 10.2 meters after 1 second, mas mataas. Kasi nga, uh, 1 second pa lang. Uh, pag 2 seconds na, medyo matagal na, yung pull, mas mataas na siya, di ba? So, yung pull ng gravity is mas malakas. Kaya, humihina yung speed niya. Alright? So, it means as time passes by, the velocity of the ball is constantly decreasing. So, pag 3 seconds, anong mangyayari pag 3 seconds? Hindi hmm, na ata. Hindi na siya. Hindi na siya abot ng 3 seconds, babagsak na siya kasi magiging negative na to pag 3 seconds, di ba? 3 times 9.8 is greater than 20. So, ibig sabihin, pabagsak na siya. Kaya, negative kasi pabagsak na, hindi na siya pataas. Okay? Di ba? So, mga simple things na nakikita mo, na-experience mo araw-araw, meron palang, meron palang math doon, evaluation ng function. Okay? For exercise 2, Exercise 2, um, same thing, same thing, mm, simply evaluate yung value na given, so the profit or your your uh, profit or ginansya mm, made by a manufacturing company producing bags is given by the function f of x equals 3x plus 250. Mm, anong classing function ba? ba ito? Linear ba to Or quadratic? Hmm. Sige. Think, think. Where X is the number of bags sold, how much is the profit of the company if they sold 300 pieces of bags? X is the number of bags sold. So, if they sold 300 pieces, yung 300 pieces na to, saan to ilalagay? Ah, di ba? Okay. How much is the profit? So, profit is given to be F of X equals 3X. So, ito yung profit nila. Hmm. Paano makukuha yung profit? Depende sa number of bags sold. Hmm. So, if 300 pieces yung bags sold, magkano lahat yung profit? Second question, how many bags are produced if they have a profit of 2,014 pesos? Sa ikalawang tanong, ang tanong is, how many bags? Ibig sabihin, ilang bags ang naibenta kapag yung profit ay 2,014? Hmm. Gets ba? So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 2014, equate mo sa 3x plus 250, and then solve for x. Ordinary uh, solving of equation. Kayang-kaya yan. Okay? Next, numeracy scale. Okay. Sa numeracy scale, uh, I think we've asked you to answer selected Values also, so hindi lahat. Hmm. I think letter B was asked. Pero okay lang, may, may answer naman, di ba? May answer. So, kapag hindi swak again yung answer mo dun sa answer key, try again hanggang mag swak na siya. Pag hindi pa din, oh, time na siguro magtanong sa akin. Oh, PM mo lang ako. Wag, uh, wag, wag mahiya. Okay? I'm very willing to help you understand. Um, the, the lessons. So, uh, kung nahihirapan, wag umiyak, wag, wag magbugnot, okay? Um, 
tulungan lang tayo. So, kung nahihiya kayong uh, mag-ask ng, ng tulong sa akin, yung classmates mo, pwede, pwede mong um, tanungin, pwede mong i-PM, pwede kayong mag, mag uh, video call and discuss your answers, no? Collaborate with your, with your classmates. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not cheating. That's uh, helping each other and uh, making everyone understand, di ba? So, ang, ang ating goal lang naman ngayon is to continue learning and uh, uh, para, para hindi, hindi, hindi puro TikTok lang at ML lang yung ginagawa natin sa bahay, di ba? May educational uh, activities din tayo para, para hindi mas nagnat yung brain cells natin. Okay? So, um, hanap-hanap lang ng paraan kung paano matuto. Okay? Pag gusto, may paraan. ba? Sige. So, again, numeracy skill. Ganun din. So, f of 3, 3 cube plus 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 12. So, yakang-yaka tong dalawang to. Tung x plus 1, kagaya lang yan nung kanina. Yung kagaya, kagaya nito. Kagaya nito. Yan. Yung kagaya lang nito siya kanina. Okay? Mm. Kaso, sabi nyo, hindi naman siya parehas kasi cube. Mm. So, pag cube, ibig sabihin, yung x plus 1 cube, eh, multiply x plus 1 three times. Meaning, x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. So, this, just do um, distributive property. So, x plus 1 times x plus 1 muna. Yung sagot niya, multiply mo ulit sa x plus 1. Medyo mahaba lang yung process, pero kayang-kaya yan. Patience is a virtue. Okay? So, x cube, x plus 1 cube, ganun din sa x squared plus 3 times x plus 1 minus 12. And then, simplify all together. Ganun din sa x squared minus 1. Okay? Ngayon, ang tanong. Diba may sagot ka na sa x plus 1? Ito, pag may Pag nasagutan mo na to, compare mo siya sa f of x minus 2. Hmm. Siyempre, obviously, parang hindi, di ba? Parang hindi naman. Kasi x minus 2 ito x plus 1. Pero, you can never be sure. Kasi, naka-cube siya, squared, tsaka may minus 12. So, there are times, kala mo, di ba? Looks can be deceiving. Hmm. So, you have to solve. Okay? Hmm. Then, sa so number 2, ML, computer shop charges 30 pesos per hour or a fraction of an hour for the first 2 hours and an and additional of 15 pesos per hour for each succeeding hour. Find how much would you pay if the, you used one of their computers for 45 minutes. Hmm, ito. Di ba sa computer shop may number of hours? So, sabi niya, 30 pesos per hour or less than an hour. Ibig sabihin ng a fraction of an hour, 30 pesos. So, kung from 1 hour, from, from, zero, from 0 minutes to 60 minutes, 30 pesos yung babayaran. So, pag, pag 25 minutes lang yung ginamit mo, 30 pesos talaga. Pag 50 minutes yung oras mo, 30 pesos talaga. Okay? Pero, for the first two hours, ay, teka lang, charges, 30 pesos per hour for the first two hours. Okay, so ibig sabihin, 15 pesos per hour. Okay, so 15 pesos per hour. So, so for 120 minutes, so uh, one hour is 60 minutes, di ba? So, so two hours, 60 minutes. So for the first two hours, for the first two hours, 30 pesos siya. Ibig sabihin, every hour, 15 pesos. Tama? Additional 15 pesos for each hour, per hour, for each succeeding hour. So, ibig sabihin, uh, every hour, 15 pesos nga siya. Ngayon, kung 45 minutes yung gamit mo, Walang 1 hour yan, di ba? So, magkano babayaran mo? Kung ang 1 hour is 15 pesos. Hmm. 
magkano? Or a fraction of an hour. Meaning, hindi umabot ng 45 minutes. Ah, hindi umabot ng 60 minutes. 45 minutes lang. So, magkano babayaran mo? It charges daw 30 pesos per hour or a fraction of an hour for the first 2 hours. So, kung 45 minutes, magkano? Hindi hindi umabot ng 1 hour, di ba? Eh, ang 1 hour, 15 pesos. O, oh, magkano yun? Hmm. Isip-isip. Find how much would you pay if you used one of their computers for... 4 hours. So, kung 2 hours, 30. Tapos, succeeding hour gives, uh, uh, is, uh, ch uh, is charged 15 pesos. So, so 4 hours, ilan? Diba? Oh, 155 minutes. Ilang hours yun? 155 minutes. Kung ang 1 hour is 60 minutes, yung 2 hours is 120. So, meaning, uh, a little more than 2 hours siya. Hmm, magkano babayaran? Okay? Hmm, yun lang. So, analysis lang. If you want some more uh, enrichment activity, you can check this YouTube link and uh, watch the video also. Actually, maraming, maraming uh, educational um, lessons sa math sa YouTube. You just have to search and find time to watch all of them. Okay? So, I hope uh, nakatulong tong uh, pa-video natin ngayon to help you answer and understand the lessons that we need to learn. Alam, alam ko, I, I very well understand that math is very challenging for most of us. Um, but uh, we have to make sure our safety, your safety. So, um, kaya tayo ganito ngayon. Okay? So, uh, at least, at least, no, tinatry natin ma, uh, matuto kahit, kahit sa anong paraan. Okay? Um, Kung meron pang problema, uh, paano sagutan ang ating exercises, just uh, don't hesitate to tell me, okay? Um, don't don't worry, don't don't be stressed. Huh? The last thing that we want for you to do is to be stressed and feel uh, aburido. <laughs> don't don't feel uh, don't feel hate. Uh, don't hate the the things that we are doing now. Uh, isipin mo lang na ito ay para sa 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 you din para matuto ka. Kasi pag nag college ka, especially STEM STEM strand ang kinuha mo, most likely magiging magiging uh, science related yung college course mo or uh, math related yung course mo. So um, Problem-solving skills and critical thinking skills are necessary um, skills when you when you apply for a job later on. And uh, mathematics and science courses are are number one subjects that um, promote the enhancement of problem-solving and critical thinking skills. So these types of questions uh, enhances those skills. Okay. So, um, practice, practice lang. Okay? Constant, correct practice uh, will uh, improve those skills. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you on our next one. Bye-bye!